August 18th, St. Helena, Empress. It was the pious boast of the city of Colchester, England, for many ages that St. Helena was born within its walls, and though this honor has been disputed, it is certain that she was a British princess. She embraced Christianity late in life, but her incomparable faith and piety greatly influenced her son Constantine, the first Christian emperor, and served to kindle a holy zeal in the hearts of the roman people forgetful of her high dignity she delighted to assist at the divine office amid the poor and by her alms deeds showed herself a mother to the indigent and distressed in her eightieth year she made a pilgrimage to jerusalem with the ardent desire of discovering the cross on which our blessed redeemer had suffered after many labors three crosses were found on mount calvary together with the nails and the inscription recorded by the evangelists it still remained however to identify the true cross of our lord by the advice of a bishop the three crosses were applied successively to a woman afflicted with an incurable disease and no sooner had the third touched her than she arose perfectly healed the pious empress overcome with joy built a most glorious church on mount calvary to receive the precious relic sending portions of it to rome and to constantinople where they were solemnly exposed to the adoration of the faithful in the year three twelve constantine found himself attacked by maxentius with a vastly superior force and the very existence of his empire was threatened in this crisis he bethought him of the crucified christian god whom his mother helena worshipped and kneeling down prayed god to reveal himself and to give him the victory suddenly at noonday a cross of fire was seen by his army in the calm and cloudless sky and beneath it the words through this sign thou shalt conquer by divine command constantine made a standard like the cross he had seen which was borne at the head of his troops and under this christian insignia they marched against the enemy and obtained a complete victory shortly thereafter helena herself returned to rome where she expired in the year three twenty eight saint helena thought it the glory of her life to find the cross of christ and to raise a temple in its honor how many christians in these days are ashamed to make this life-giving sign and to confess themselves the follower of the crucified